Hey everybody, it's Brad at Daypoor Brothers LLC out in Versailles, Ohio. I'm gonna do another walk around video followed by an operational video. Uh, so make sure you stick around to the end if you wanna see how this machine runs. Um, this is a CAT 943 crawler loader. It's a 1981 year model. Just came in, we're gonna get it put up for sale here. Do a little walk around video, get up close to some of the stuff so you can see everything up close. Talk about what I know. I just drove it around. Talk about some of the stuff that I saw. Of course, as you can tell, it's an OROPS machine. GP bucket with the teeth. This one is the V pattern with the pedal steer. I'll get up close over here. I know sometimes with the sun, it's a little hard to see. It's actually a pretty straight machine. Not a ton of rust or anything like that. Kind of see the sheet metal on this side here. <clears throat> the back end's pretty straight. A few little dents and dings here and there, but for a 1981 model, it's a pretty honest machine. As you'll see here in a little bit when we do the operational video, it cranks right up. I mean, it barely turns over and it's running. Engine runs strong, no excessive smoking. Hydraulics are strong, it tracks good and straight. It turns strong to both directions on both pedals. Um, I actually think it's had some of these pins replaced not too long ago. A couple of them look a little shinier and I will be honest with you, for an 81 model machine, it's pretty tight. There's just a little bit of play up here, but really pretty, fairly tight for an older machine. We'll look inside the engine compartments here. So you guys can see in here. Go to the other side and look inside the other side. Rockets are definitely getting a little wore down. Same with the chain. There's some life left in it. It'd be probably a pretty good farm machine. Somebody wanted to clear some fence rows. Something that wasn't going to get used every single day, eight hours a day. As far as the undercarriage goes, I mean, I think the rest of it, like I said, the hydraulics are strong. The engine sounds good. Transmission pole strong. We'll go up here on top of the operator station. Floor mats in good shape. Those rubber floor mats kind of tend to get wore out pretty bad, but this one's pretty decent. Good seat. Armrests are in decent shape. Like I said, V pattern and pedal steer. This one is showing 2,648 hours. Obviously those are not the original hours. The hour meter has been replaced at some point in time. It's actually a digital hour meter, which of course these would have been analog. So we don't know the exact total hours, but like I said earlier, 1981 model showing 2,648 on the hours. Cranks up good, runs strong. We'll get right into an operational video.